snaking out across the straits separating Crimea from the Russian mainland, then rising high above the water. Russia's new mega project has taken 27 months to build and cost some three and a half billion dollars. And at 19 kilometers, it's now the longest bridge of its kind in Europe. The rail section opens next year, but as of Wednesday, the road bridge is working. The opening ceremony came with all the Hollywood-style production techniques and action man heroics, typical of a showpiece Putin event. After steering a truck across the bridge, Russia's president addressed an enthusiastically patriotic crowd. In different historic periods, since the Tsar's time, people were dreaming to build this bridge. Then, people came back to this idea in the 30s, 40s and 50s of the past century. At last, thanks to your hard work, your talent, this project, this miracle has happened. Thank you very much. This is a hugely important prestige project for Vladimir Putin. Much of his domestic popularity rests on the impression that he's the man that reunited Crimea with Russia. That was a political connection. This bridge is an actual physical connection. It's certainly much needed. Since Russia annexed the peninsula from Ukraine in 2014, Crimeans have struggled with patchy electricity and water supply. As the Ukrainian border is effectively closed, goods and tourists could only come by sea or air. The bridge opens a vital land route and an economic lifeline for Crimea. But it won't solve everything, as much of the world still sees Crimea as illegally occupied by Russia. Crimea is still under international sanctions. Uh, for instance, European Union vessels are, are not uh, allowed to call uh, in Crimean ports, and uh, this won't change uh, probably for a very long period of time. And as a result, Crimea will still be largely isolated from the commercial point of view. Still, Putin will see the opening of the bridge as a major success. Russia has the technological ability to mitigate some of the consequences of Putin's own geopolitical actions. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Kerch, Crimea.